had a very interesting conversation today with one of the professors at Daiwan University about the merits, advantages, and disadvantages of memorizing versus understanding. I was talking about a particular thing in e-commerce that I was teaching, and I was trying to get across the point that it's better for the students to understand what I'm talking about than simply memorizing the concept. And this professor was saying, well, if they memorize a concept and remember it, isn't that just as good because you both reach the end conclusion of being able to take that information whether you understand it or have memorized it and use it in the context to be able to uh, make decisions or enter into conversations with people about that and I disagreed with him and I said well if you understand it then if the situation is slightly different you could still apply some uh, reasoning to be able to figure out the circumstances whereas if you memorize something explicitly and the context of within which you're working is not perfect, then you can't apply some understanding. Anyhow, this whole point about memorizing versus understanding um, maybe has some origins in a couple of interesting aspects of the social cultural environment in Asia. Uh, what I'm referring to is the way that young students learn the alphabet. By that, I mean the individual caricatures that they learn in China to describe the words from which they build their word, their their grammar structure, and the same thing in Japan and to a lesser extent in Korea because in Korea the alphabet is simplified. That learning process is so heavily oriented towards memorization of literally hundreds of squibbles that that it naturally is the case that the teaching and learning process is predominantly oriented towards memorizing things because I mean, if you don't have these uh, character tools, you simply can't read the Chinese or the Japanese or the Korean newspaper. Now, having said that, I, I want to juxtapose it towards the understanding concept. The understanding concept is often done with a Socratic method of teaching, which is questions and answers or other methods like that, where you try to engage the students and draw out from them some, some innate knowledge that they may have so they can understand a little bit of the, the thing that you're teaching and then by this sort of uh, back and forth, then they can understand the whole thing. So that uh, is, is to some extent a, a Western uh, phenomenon or, or ph philosophy which goes right back to Spa, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. You know, this is not to say that uh, questions and answers engaging the student does not happen in Asia. All I'm saying is it's much more likely to be something that happens in in the West, whereas in Asia there's very much a focus on memorizing, memorizing, and, and that's that's my experience when I was living in Japan in the 1980s, and again my experience when I was back in Korea in November 2010, and I simply wanted to have a little conversation about that.